Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. As always, this is Zul'jin. So, I finally got the chance to get back into the swing of things, you guys. Been so busy with community projects, playing around on the servers. Uh, just saw the announcement video, I'm sure by now got involved with those guys on the Minecraft fan server and that's a huge opportunity for me really 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 excited to have that a special shout out today to my buddy Omega what I'm doing the, uh, the Diablo 3 let's play with for that invite I am um, I can't thank him enough man this is just uh, it's such a an honor to be able to go among some really, really talented individuals on that server. And um, they got guys like Good and BWO that go in there every once in a while. Mostly Good, I believe, because it's his server. But um, I know BWO's brother, uh, Sarian Assassin, goes on there and Schism, which um, they're up and comers. Really, really good channels and. I don't keep up with everyone that I should. <laughs> I mean, I have a limited amount of time. I try to support the people that support me for the most part. Um, but this Minecraft um, fan server opportunity is just is more than I can ever have imagined to happen this early. Ooh, that's a nasty zombie sound. Um, so thank you all so much again for supporting me through that. And also, thank you again, Omega Rainbow, for this opportunity. Today what I'm going to try to do, you guys, is do a little bit of aesthetics work for this power plant. And um, I have to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of lost when it comes to the design. Let's see, this is 5, 3, I think I'm going to try to go 3 at the base. But this is, uh, this is really, really different in terms of what I'm used to doing for any kind of building projects. Uh, got some more stone that I've been cook, cooking up and really getting ready to do things. Um, what I think I'm gonna try to do is incorporate some iron fencing into kind of like some electricity poles. So I already got some of that. I don't know, I'm tripping. I did some preparations before I got on so I could just start building and talk with you guys. I'm um, gonna try some redstone stuff too. Just make some pretty with redstone. Nothing, uh, nothing functional or effective. But okay, so we have two right here, and if I go with three, it does that. I think I like the idea of the cross beams more, almost as like poles. Okay, let's stack some like this. Let's just stack. As long as it's on the hitbox, it should be fine. It's a lot easier when they're actually independent like this instead of just like the little fence type deal, you know? Okay. Still kind of confused about the walls too, so the next few episodes are probably going to be on me getting the decoration right. Um, we are quickly approaching uh, 1.3 believe it is and guys the updates are getting ridiculous and when I say ridiculous I mean ridiculous I don't know if y'all have seen I don't know if I can even place like this no I can't um, I don't know if y'all have even seen uh, the updates and the stuff that you're gonna be able to do but just to name a few things there are going to be uh, ways to do a number of things like villager trading things of that nature um, emeralds are going to be one of the uh, ores that you can find which is also going to double as currency so naturally you know the 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 idea the possibilities for my market district are opening up drastically we're gonna be able to get um, all sorts of things going on for that and I have to say I'm really really excited about that one thing about Minecraft is in, on the single player you don't have people to play with so that was always a big concern is to make it less lonely that's why they started implementing pets and stuff 
and、um, it's just really, really, really cool how they've done that. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know how that's gonna look, guys. I'm just trying a few things now. But yeah, the updates are just getting.、Uh, it's 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 gonna be absolutely awesome.、Uh, I tell you what, would I rest, mess up any redstone? I don't think so.、Uh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, maybe not. Ouch. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. How does that look?、Uh, that zombie doesn't like it, but I really think that that's. Uh, kind of what we want. I don't know particularly if that is uniform enough. I think the bottoms kind of spread out a little bit more when it comes to、uh, the base work. So let me do that. Let me see what that looks like. We can do that, and let's see. That used、uh, the good. Good portion of the 64 stack, man. I love those freaking lights. But I just heard the freaking lights go. Hmm. Uh oh. That's not good. Why did the lights go off? Ah,、uh, is this thing really reversed like that? Maybe I don't have to invert it at all. I thought I did last time, but maybe not. So let's do. I guess we're gonna have to make this shift again, huh? Let's put the redstone torch back. All right. How's that look? Good. Lights are on. Okay. So we toggled it. It should be fine now. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay. So that looks pretty good. Is that high enough? Is my question. We're gonna die out here. I can, I can feel it.、Um, <laughs> is that high enough? Is the question. I think it is. I'm gonna put some of these on this side too. Probably there. Okay. So let's see how I have these on the very, very last row. I skip three, three. So let's do that again. Let's make five. We're gonna do some of that. Three. Grass blocks into sandstone. That should be good for that. I love this half slab area, knowing that stuff can't spawn. It's、uh, it's pretty nice. I don't know if stuff can spawn on top of these、uh, these redstone wires, but I tell you what, I know one thing: they can spawn on top of these. So now that I'm thinking about it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cap all of these suckers to where we don't have to worry about that. Cause that would be a daggum shame to have some creeper blow up all this redstone. This is,、uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure I can do it again, but who wants to mess around with that, right? I have enough deaths as it is outside of、um, trying to be productive. Oh, and what I was saying before, with、um, with all of the new updates, my the most exciting thing that I saw so far. Ouch! You stupid spider! You can climb, can't you?、Um, get off of me!、Um, the most exciting thing about the new updates, in my opinion, is the ability to get experience for. Ouch! Oh, this ain't good. This is not good. Okay, must eat watermelon. Um, <laughs> the pains of building at night on hard mode. So, experience from digging ore. So that's gonna motivate、um, cave and expeditions, you guys. Which is、um, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now,、uh, for a long time. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've been、uh, motivated to go caving outside of some ores. I made that. I cannot believe I made those in different dimensions. I really did. 
Okay, well, maybe we won't be able to get the same exact width from each one, but... Um, oh yeah, back to what I was saying. So, I'll be motivated to go caving again, which is, uh, which, that's so cool, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to do caving episodes. There's actually quite a bit that I've been thinking about doing as far as caving type uh, gameplay, you know, for videos, and, um, there's, there's, there's just a, a lot that I'd like to do in video that I really don't get to do when I'm just focusing on the building aspect, which I know you guys love seeing me build pro projects, you know, I like to see me building projects too, um, but the thing remains is I still love the adventure as well, you know, and um, sometimes I just like to get down and dirty with those mobs and and show you guys what's up. Let's see, I had 27 last time. And let's see. Let's see if 32, 27. That would have been a 64 stack. 27. Oh, let me try to do some math right quick. Okay, if I had 27 left, that means I actually used 37, which would be 10 different than what I was already carrying, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I think I did that math right. And over there, I actually have the top at 5. So let's see. 8, no, gotta come up 2 more. And then... No, I think I had it right the first time. Okay, let's see. This is 2 one that I'm going to have to add to the stack. I know I'm kind of talking gibberish, you guys, but let's see. Okay, boom. Now, getting here. I think I have them the same height. I'm hoping I have them the same height, guys. If I don't, oh well, I'll go back and fix it. Okay, so I have seven right here. And this is going to be one. And this is going to be... Now I had three spires, all right? Three spires, and those came up three apiece. So in actuality, I am too high, or too, too high. So let's try this, okay? And now I'm gonna take this middle and join them up, and then come out right here. And oh, now this is messing me all up because I can't figure. Okay, yeah. I think that's how I want it to go. I get confused now. Oh, yep. I knew that was gonna hurt. Oh well. Now that I'm down, I can at least count. I totally track lost track of what I was saying too. Okay, let me just count these right quick. Let's see, that's one. Uh, who am I kidding? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe that's ten. I'm really gonna have to do this to find out. I hate to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, I would have been wrong, and these spars are 1, 2, 3, okay, so 11 and 3, much more comfortable knowing that now, and I really hate to record all this sometime, you guys, but y'all have got to see the mentality that I used to build in order to understand the way my brain works, okay, so 11 and 3, we said, now... Let's do this. Let's go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And why is that right there? Yeah, and eleven. That's what we want. And we have spars going up three. So in actuality, I need to do this on top of here. Okay. One on top of here. And I need to come up. One, two. 
and we need one more iron bar. Three. Okay. Now we can travel all the way back down. And it should be more or less what the other one looks like. Yeah. So we got five down here. We do that one the same way. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Now <laughs> now it's starting to look a little power planish. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. Alright. So I was talking about the caving episodes and adventuring and stuff like that. Well, uh, another thing that they let on was jungle temples. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven. Yep, jungle temples. And with jungle temples, they have traps and tripwires and all sorts of different things. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, no. I'm going to end up killing myself. Um, all kind of different things with tripwires, guys. That opens up the gate to whew, countless things. One of, the, uh, one of the things that I'm thinking about using it for is automatic lighting in all my houses. Like when the villagers go in, the lights will go on. When the villagers leave, they'll go off. Um, which I think would be really, really easy using like T-flip-flops and tripwires to activate them as power sources. I think that would work good. Um, going to try to incorporate all that. I don't know if I'll be able to for sure, but um, things like that uh, just, they turn me on, you know, not in a nasty way. But <laughs> I, uh, I love the idea of being able to do stuff that's, uh, that's cool like that, you know, realistic. Let's see, two, three, down to three yep so yeah the the idea of being able to do stuff like that is just so appealing to me um what else did they talk about enchantments are going to be a lot easier which which that's good because i was actually dreading having to do any more spider form tweaking since i spent so much time on that already uh we never built a blaze spawner i suppose that that would be cool but I uh, I want to wait until the update officially rolls out. The the next projects on the horizon outside of the power plant are going to be getting all of the uh, the aesthetics work done in the uh, the town around, fixing up uh, the lighting, redoing the lighting. Which some of that I'm going to do off camera. But for the most part, all of that needs to be done prior to the uh, the market district. You know. So the Market District might actually be Season 2, guys. We might go with a Civilization theme for that, or Domestication. Um, not real sure. I'm wondering if I should just go with another row like that here. Or maybe... Yeah, I may be able to do that and, like, stagger them. I don't know. Hmm. Let me go back to the house, grab a little bit more iron, and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we are back. Gonna do what I had said before. God, these ambient noises are so weird. Um, gonna do what I said we were gonna do before. And I believe we're gonna go with the whole... Um, the whole... Uh, running across. I don't know how the, the actual wiring is gonna work out for... for um, emulating the wiring but we're gonna do what we can to get the stretching across I think when I put the um, the fence gates right up against these it's gonna look funny so we may have to supplement that with something else maybe we'll use redstone torches on top or um, I don't know something like that I don't even know if redstone torches will stick to those but we'll try a few different things but for now I'm just gonna get these built and I don't want to bore you guys to tears with this, so I'm going to do the next three in fast forward. Let y'all rock out to the little jam that I prepared for y'all today. And um, when we finish up, we'll move on to the next part. So um, you guys enjoy.
I guess. What I'm noticing is that it looks pretty cool, but it doesn't fit the, um, it doesn't do what I wanted to do, like, at the end. So, I'm trying something right quick and seeing how that's going to look. I honestly don't know what it's going to look like when I do that, but if it looks good, I'll be happy. If not, we might have to figure out something else. There's really no way to emulate wire in this game. Honestly, there's not. Yeah, I believe that looks a lot better. I actually think that if it went out one wider, that it would look even better. So let's try that too. I'm gonna take everything down so fast. But it's really hard to judge when you're not down there, you know? This is when it's good to have multiplayer input, like, hey, how's this look, you know? Okay. So, that's, that might be too wide. I'm not gonna take down these beams quite yet until I figure it out. Okay, let's go down again. Okay, and, oh yeah. I believe that is a lot more along the lines of what we want. Yep. Now, as far as the fence going across like that, ah, it's really hard to tell, guys. Like I said, there's no such thing as wire in this game. I mean, hmm. You guys let me know what you think. I can take it all the way down, and that way they wouldn't have lines stretching across. They would just have these towers, which I like the way it looked before. But you guys let me know what you think. I am going to leave that as he is right now and start working on some of the walls. So, be right back. Man, guys, you know, as I place blocks, <laughs> the look is really starting to grow on me. I'm really, really at a loss. I don't know whether to keep it or not. The, the, the lines across, they're a little big. They're just a little bit too thick. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking that I should probably... God, I hate when I do that. I'm thinking that I should probably take them down and just leave the forks. Um, I know I was thinking about getting you guys input, but I can always redo it. I want to take those down is what I think I'm going to do. Hmm. Well, guys, I finally fell to my death <laughs> while trying to take down these stupid lines. But as you can see... I really, really think that's a better, a better look without the wires in between. Uh, we need it to be somewhat industrial, but let's just face it. We don't need it. Um, we, we don't need to just join them up. Like it has no physical um, purpose whatsoever. It takes more materials, and honestly, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would. So uh, until we get wire, <laughs> if we do get wire one day, that's just going to be the way it is. Um, so I'm going to take all these down and I'm actually going to call the episode. I know that I've rambled on quite a bit. Showed you guys where I was at for the most part. Got me, got a death in and picked up all my stuff. There's a few other projects that I'd like to get to this evening. And I am still trying to determine what's going on with my lighting system. If I could find my pick, don't tell me I can't get my pick out. Oh man, that stinks so bad. I'm gonna have to go through the the block all the way like this just so I can grab my pick. Unbelievable. Oh well, there goes a half slap. Done. Alright. So yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for hearing me out. And hopefully when we come back, we'll have a little bit more of a solid idea on what to do with the rest of these walls. So thank you guys for watching. This is Zuljian signing off. And have a good one.